please help me. Oh, you have to help. Yeah, I grabbed that one too. Yeah, pull that over. Oh, but I like the side swap thing. Yeah. Okay. Good. Tonight, there's plenty of construction around Lincoln, and the city plans to add more. We'll find out where. And find out why skateboarders are celebrating today and get a sneak peek at Lincoln's makeover. All this and more on Star City News Live at 5. Coming to you from Anderson Hall on UNL campus. Bringing you the latest in news, sports, weather, and entertainment. This is Star City News, live at 5. Good evening and welcome to Star City News, live at 5. I'm Nargis Atai. And I'm Brandon Yoakum. Tonight's top story, Lincoln might be seeing some more construction in the near future. A public meeting will be held tonight to discuss the possibilities. We'll go live to Megan Mandel in the newsroom. Thanks, Nargis and Brandon. Yes, unfortunately, there is more construction planned for three intersections in South Lincoln, but I talked to some people today to find out why. This area may look fairly quiet now, but the intersections around 14th, Old Cheney, and Warlick Roads around rush hour are anything but. As the city of Lincoln grows and we get more development and more people out in south of Old Cheney, um, the intersections see a lot of a lot of volume and um, businesses in the area, so we need to work and improve the safety and congestion of the intersections. That's why the city of Lincoln is planning a major renovation of the area and holding a meeting tonight to get the public's opinion. This will give Lincoln residents like Matt Bremer a chance to weigh in. With the three pretty close to each other, I mean it does cause quite a bit of traffic jams coming back and forth, especially during rush hour. Uh, we play softball down the road, and I know coming up to the intersection, just taking a left, you can sit there for a couple of minutes alone, just waiting. Nearby business owners are also stressing the need for reconstruction. I very rarely ever drive because I always ride my bike to work, but that intersection is kind of a launching off point for a lot of road rides, and I know it's kind of dicey because um, you've got cars coming from many different directions, so it's not always the safest. No matter how the city decides to fix the area, the meeting will allow people who drive on it often to be heard. Noticed it a little bit, but the traffic always sucks in Lincoln, <laughs> I guess. The meeting tonight is from 5 to 7 at Christ Place Church on 1111 Old Cheney. Now residents are encouraged to attend and bring any concerns they have, any questions about the project. Now Holly told me earlier that three firms are actually competing for the winning design. They're going to hold another meeting similar to this around Thanksgiving and pick one of those designs by early next year. The project should be completed in 2014. Live from the newsroom for Star City News, I'm Megan Mandel. Thanks, Megan. Lincoln's business and government leaders are undertaking a massive campaign to grab the nation's attention. Officials have created new logos and themes they hope will come to represent the spirit of Lincoln. The campaign, which has been in the works for months, specifically targets young, successful individuals. The hope is that they will come to Lincoln to fill high-paying jobs and stay once they get here. Some of the proposed ideas include themed city buses, banners, and even Mario Kart power-ups painted in bike lanes. Valero Energy is shutting down, but only temporarily. The plant, located in Albion, Nebraska, currently has a healthy supply of ethanol. Company spokesperson Bill Day says it's more economical to shut down than to lose money. The shutdown is only short-term, as the plant attempts to ride out rising corn prices. A man who allegedly tried to rob a downtown coffee shop this morning is behind bars. 24-year-old Jeffrey Shepard went into Lincoln Espresso near South 16th Street, where he threatened a cashier saying he would do bad things to her if she didn't give him money. She refused, and he walked away empty-handed. Police arrested him six minutes later. A Lincoln grocery store was the target of an early morning burglary attempt. Police arrived at Ideal Grocery near 27th and Randolph to find the front door shattered and a large pool of blood. Officials say the blood is most likely from the person who broke through the glass door. It is unknown if any items were stolen. Police have no suspects. 
A Missouri man charged with first-degree sexual assault has pleaded no contest. 24-year-old Christopher Allen allegedly traveled to Nebraska to have sex with a 15-year-old Waverly girl. The plea comes after Nebraska prosecutors lowered Allen's charge, which now carries a maximum of 20 years in prison. An Omaha police officer was injured last night in a collision with a drunk driver. Officials say the driver ran a stop sign and hit Officer Mike Bossman's cruiser. Bossman was taken to a hospital and treated for a shoulder injury. The driver of the car was arrested. Authorities are continuing to investigate last week's standoff in Alliance, Nebraska. Court documents say that 27-year-old Andres Gonzalez told negotiators he killed 38-year-old Josh Bullock last December and told his 19-year-old girlfriend, Rose Skefke Gonzalez, and told his girlfriend. Gonzalez also committed admitted he killed 62 year, his 62-year-old father, Larry Gonzalez. Skefke is charged with helping conceal Bullock's body and held on bond. The rain last night helped firefighters control a wildfire that has been, burn, been burning all week in northwest Nebraska. Officials say that the fire has burned about 5,000 acres. No re reports of any damage or to structures or any injuries. Up next, we'll find out why gas prices are so high in Lincoln, but down everywhere else. And we're finally seeing a break from all this heat. Later, Justin Van Nostren has your full weather forecast. The heat wave has lifted in Lincoln just in time for Go Skateboarding Day. I'm Justin Van Nostren, and I'll have your weather update coming right up. You're watching Star City News on Channel 21, live at 5. It's time to stand up. It's time for respect and compassion. Time to stop bullying. Schools, youth groups, your community can stop bullying. Stand for the Silent and Serve Nebraska are joining together to invite every school, youth group, and student in Nebraska to participate in a statewide event to introduce, promote, and reinforce anti-bullying practices. Help us! Reach our goal to end the bullying. This regional art museum produces six to eight exhibitions annually in its beautiful galleries. Frequent visitors enjoy viewing shows by contemporary artists, as well as sculptures and paintings from the permanent collection. The museum and research library are free and open to the public. The Great Plains Art Museum, located at 1155 Q Street. Nebraskans for the Upgraded Treatment of Squirrels, or NUTS for short is a group dedicated to protecting squirrels on the UNL campus. The group holds meetings to discuss the status of UNL squirrels and also host events such as squirrel watching tours. Squirrels are an important part of our campus and this group hopes to bring awareness to issues that squirrels face. Look for postings around campus for the next NUTS meeting and remember, don't try to run over squirrels with your car or bike. All across Nebraska, small communities contribute to the well-being of adults and children. Businesses provide jobs at the heart of the community. Lifelong friendships are established. Families are raised and taught values they will carry with them forever. But sometimes even the most thriving communities must look at problems in their own backyard. Hunger affects people in every community. Food Bank of Lincoln can give you the tools you need to make a difference. We already have trucks of food traveling near you. Contact us today to learn how you can help distribute food to families in your area. Hunger happens, but it doesn't have to happen here. Welcome back to Star City News Live at 5. Gas prices have nationally fallen for the 10th straight week thanks to weak demands for falling oil prices. However, prices here in Lincoln have gone up almost 20 cents. AAA Nebraska says it's because of refinery issues, but they are expected to fall when the issues are fixed. The weather is hurting the Nebraska Public Power District. The company is cutting $15 million from its budget because the mild weather has led to lower electricity sales this year. Although the company doesn't expect to lay off anyone, it will leave some positions open. $8.3 million has been designated to restore the Missouri River channels that were damaged by last year's flooding. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers set aside the money to be used along a 120-mile stretch of river, 
Work is set to begin in the coming week and should be completed by 2014. A June survey reports that growth in rural areas of 10 states has slowed. Economist Ernie Gross oversees the survey of rural bankers and he says the global economic slowdown is to blame. Survey organizers say the overall index suggests more growth in the months ahead. It's National Go Skateboarding Day. Local skaters met up to show off their skills at Peter Pan Park, where a skateboarding competition is being held. The event includes a barbecue and prizes for those who compete. There's a lot of people here and you have a lot, you have a lot of fun and just you meet a lot of different people that you haven't seen before. Look out for new signs. Mayor Chris Butler has approved the new rule that will make places like parks, playgrounds, fields, and swimming pools smoke-free. The Parks and Recreation Board will start placing smoke-free signs this fall. Lincoln is not the only city to embrace the new smoking ban. Taylor Dahl takes a full look at a similar ordeal in other parts of Nebraska. The city of Fremont has approved a smoke-free policy that people can no longer smoke in parks. I believe it's a good thing. I, years ago I was a smoker and, and I've realized over the years how, how good uh, banning smoking is. Not that I have anything against anybody smoking, it's just a matter of where and when to, to protect our kids. With the unanimous 8-0 to zero vote on the smoking ban here in Fremont, many citizens are excited they will no longer find these on their playgrounds. We wanted to really look at the entire park area as a whole to create a healthier environment so when families and children came out to the parks they, they truly felt like they had an environment that uh, they could enjoy without any distractions or interruptions from other people. I think that any town it's possible, I know a lot of California is that way. And it's very, um, you know, on the beaches and that type of thing, um, they're very regulated. And I hope Lincoln does. I, th I think this is a, a great start to make a, like I said, a healthier community, but also a healthier state now. Lincoln is looking to a similar proposal, and the vote could come very soon. In Fremont for Star City News, I'm Taylor Dahl reporting. Thanks, Taylor. Well, the weather sure feels nice today, Brandon. Yeah, I know. We're definitely seeing a break from that awful heat earlier in the week. Why don't we go to Justin Van Nostren for your full weather forecast. Thanks guys. You're right, it is a lot nicer out and that's largely been... Thanks to last night's rain, it's cooled off quite a bit. As you can see here from the tower cam at Old Felder Hall, we've got really nice blue skies and just a couple clouds flecked here and there, but overall a really nice day to be outside. And if we move to today's conditions, we'll see we, uh, we've got 80 degrees currently and a, a, north, mi a north wind of 9 miles an hour. And again, sunny and, and just really beautiful, a big improvement over the last couple of days. Tonight, uh, we're going to see temperatures fall to about 61 degrees. And uh, we'll have a wind of about 6 miles an hour coming from the southeast. And again, clear, a great night to you know, be out and maybe make, make some food with family or uh, enjoy yourselves outside. And looking at the regional map, we see this nice, mild, um, warmer temperatures um, continuing across the, across the region. We see... 80 degrees here in Lincoln, um, also 80 in Omaha and 80 in Fall City, 78 in Beatrice, and then over in the west we've got 79 in Grand Island and 77 in Hastings. And moving to national weather, we see it's, it's great here in the Midwest, it's actually a pretty good place to be compared to some of these other areas. We see it's pretty hot and muggy down in the south here, 94 in Texas, 92 around Louisiana, um, upper, upper 80s in the southeast and well, it's nice in Florida but it's always nice in Florida and hot and kind of uncomfortable in the northeast and pretty nice in the coast but a little, a little warm in the northern parts there and then looking at our seven-day forecast we're gonna see that unfortunately today's nice weather isn't quite gonna continue as we might wish it will um, high of 83 today though I don't actually think it's gonna quite get there and tomorrow 87 so getting a bit warmer and we're gonna have a bit windier day about 14 mile an hour winds Saturday, 50% uh, chance of storms, uh, thunderstorms in the morning mainly, and winds of about 20 miles an hour, so it is going to be windier. Watch that umbrella. You're going to probably need it, and it's probably going to try to blow out of your hand. Sunday, it's going to be a hot one, 93 degrees on Sunday, and then fortunately it's going to cool off a little bit more on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We see mid-80s here. 
And that's a look at your weather forecast. Back to you, Brandon and Argus. Thanks, Justin. Up next, Chris Casper is going to tell you about the new BCS bracket, if you can believe that. You're watching Star City News on Channel 21, live at 5. Every little girl just wants to be beautiful, but the images they are shown are unrealistic. They need someone to turn to for advice and encouragement. That's why the Big Brothers Big Sister program provides a positive relationship that can better a child's life forever. Be a big brother or a big sister today and be a positive role model that every child needs. Our hands go through a lot in a day. So keeping them clean will not just benefit you, but also the people around you. It is important to wash your hands periodically through the day, before and after eating, and especially in here. Prevent the spread of infectious diseases by constantly washing your hands with soap and warm water. Your hands will thank you. The next time your child decides to become Picasso and use your wall as a canvas, take a deep breath. Sign up for classes at the Lux Center for the Arts. With providing materials and art teachers, she can work alongside aspiring Monets and Warhols and leave your walls the way they are. Enroll your child in classes at the Lux Center for the Arts. What does it mean to be environmental? Is it buying a hybrid car? Is it using recycled bags? Is it a bumper sticker? If you're looking to make a real difference, one of the best places to turn is your own backyard. Trees help keep our environment clean. Visit arborday.org to find out more information on planting trees in your community. Hey all you sports fans out there, I'm Chris Casper and here's what I've got for you today. The moment all you college fans have been waiting for, the BCS has finally announced a new four-seeded playoff system to crown a champion. There will be a committee that will look at things like the conference championship and strength of the schedule. The two national semifinal games would be still be played within the exiting, existing excuse me, BCS bowl games, such as the Fiesta, Orange, Rose, and Sugar the national championship game would go to the highest bidding city. In the College World Series 1-1, one one, Kent State took on South Carolina, who is also 1-1 one one after having their game called due to last night's thunderstorms. The Gamecocks end up beating Kent State 4-1 after being down two runs. Florida and Arizona are currently playing right now. Florida is 2-1 and, and Arizona is 2-0. In baseball, the Washington Nationals might over be overusing Stefan Stronsberg. He won Wednesday night against the Tampa Bay Rays, and that was his sixth consecutive start for the Nationals. The 24-year-old pitcher has been doing wonders for the Nationals. 40 strikes in 26 innings, pitched with 23 bases runners allowed. An ERA of 2.08, but Stronzer is approaching his halfway point to 160 innings. He is supposed to pitch. Now that might not seem like a lot, but General Manager Mike Rizzo said, but it takes a huge toll on your body. In the Euro Cup Cora Finals, the Czech Republic has lost to Portugal. Now Portugal will be advancing to the semifinals. Portugal led by Christian Ronaldo for the final goal in the close call victory over Czech. On the other side, Greece looks to play Germany in a tough matchup. For Greece, it has been a roller coaster ride. And and they are the team that's hot right now, while Germany has also been going strong. In the NBA, the stage is set for the Miami Heat to take Game 5 and win it all. Right now, the Young Thunder team looks to roar back and force a Game 6. This win by OKC will send the game back to Oklahoma, where the Thunder have been dominant throughout the playoffs. Westbrook had an outstanding Game 4, scoring 45 points and 11 rebounds. If the Thunder play that hard and Westbrook goes off the radar, then we are in for a close game tonight. 
Game kicks off tonight at 9 p.m. on ABC. Well, that does it for sports. Back to you, Nargis and Brandon. Thanks, Chris. Up next, we'll find out who's getting a $10 million birthday gift. Well, I wish somebody would give me $10 million <laughs> for my birthday. You're watching Star City News live at 5. You're watching Star City News on Channel 21, live at 5. The University Health Center, located on campus at 1500 U Street, offers a wide variety of cares and services. The health center offers extensive aid in the areas of dentistry, physical therapy, and psychology. Also on site is a full radiology department equipped with x-ray and EKG machines. The health center also offers a fully stocked pharmacy for prescription medication. The UNL Health Center is open 8 to 6 Monday through Thursday and 8 to 5 on Friday. The UNL Health Center, where the top priority is the student's health. I really wish I had a pet. When looking for a pet, make the Capital Humane Society your first stop. There are a variety of pets to choose from, such as rabbits, cats, dogs, and much more. Pets from the Capital Humane Society are spayed or neutered, receive treatment for fleas, ticks, or mites, receive needed vaccinations and tests to keep the animals healthy, and are microchipped. It's much cheaper to adopt, so go to the Capital Humane Society to find your next best friend. Tips for going green at home. Keep your thermostat set at the highest comfortable temperature in summer. Bicycling can save on gas and lowers emissions. Use Energy Star appliances and only wash clothes on a full load. Unplug chargers from the wall when not in use. And as always, turn off the lights when leaving a room. Stay green! The Center for People in Need provides essential resources to people in our community through many programs. One is the Job Training Program. The Job Training Program prepares participants for careers in forklift operation, warehousing, print services, and more. The Center for People in Need is looking for employers in Lincoln to get involved with the Job Training Program. For more information, visit centerforpeopleinneed.org. Good evening and welcome to your entertainment news update. Today in the news, CBS lost their case last week against ABC, attempting to stop the airing of the network's new show, The Glass House. CBS claims this new show is a copy of their show, Big Brother, that has been on air since 1999. Delving deeper into this issue, I can see why CBS would be a little bum hurt about the whole issue. This is Big Brother. And this is The Glass House. With nowhere to hide, you see everything. The game is played by them. I am here to win 250 grand. But they are played by you. And just so you know, I will be sending you my pilot for what I feel will be a much better reality series, The Glass Production Studio. And it's going to delve into all of the inner workings of the production students for Star City News. Check it out. I mean, all I'm trying to say is that Space Jam was just such a pivotal moment in my life. I know, man. I know. So, uh, take with that what you want. In retaliation, CBS issued a news release promoting a mock reality series development, Dancing on the Stars, in which people will compete in Hollywood Forever Cemetery, featuring moderately famous and sort of well-known people dancing on stars' graves. CBS, come on now. Let's be mature. It's not like cap copycat shows are new in the biz. Prince William turns 30 today. Prince William prides himself on leading a quiet life with his gorgeous wife, Kate, in their modest home of Kensington Palace. Celebrations are said to be small and intimate. Prince William is set to inherit 10 million pounds today, which is roughly $15 million as part of a trust fund set up by Princess Diana, his mother. Okay, I can't hold my tongue about it anymore. 
When I turned 18, I stopped getting money in my birthday cards. And this fella gets $15 million. It's a good day when I find $5 in my jeans. It's a good day if I have clean jeans to wear. You know where I got this shirt? It's from a Raggedy Ann costume from 1987. So Prince William, happy birthday. I'm gonna be sending a pre-addressed envelope to you so you can uh, send me my cut. All right, I'm Mary Thorell and this has been your entertainment update. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks, Mary. The trial of Jerry Sandusky is now in the hands of the jury. After only nine days of testimony, the jury will now have to sift through 48 separate charges. The jury has been sequestered and Judge John Cleland has said that if no verdict is reached by late Friday, deliberations will continue into the weekend. A written statement and video interview from George Zimmerman has been released. Zimmerman is charged with second degree murder in the killing of Trayvon Martin. This video shows Zimmerman leading authorities and talking them through what he recalls from the night Martin was killed. And they said, are you following him? Oh, I'm sorry, back there they said, are you following him? And I said, yes, because... A House committee has voted to hold Attorney General Eric Holder in contempt of Congress for failing to turn over documents related to the Fast and Furious operation. President Obama has decided to withhold the information. The operation has caused more than 1,000 weapons to be lost in Mexico. Comrade John Bryson turned in his letter of resignation to President Obama today. Earlier this month, Bryson cited for a felony hit-and-run car accident in Los Angeles after suffering a seizure while driving. Former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak is said to be in stable condition today. Mubarak, who ruled Egypt for three decades, has been reported to be near death for several days. Yasri Abdel Razek, Mubarak's attorney, has now released a statement saying that Mubarak merely suffered a head wound resulting from a fall in a prison bathroom. Razek also denied rumors that Mubarak suffered a stroke and had been declared legally dead. A historic building in San Francisco's Pier 29 was heavily damaged yesterday by a four-alarm fire. A tourist visiting Pier 29 caught this video. More than 100 firefighters arrived to put out the flames. The building was under renovation in preparation for the 2013 America's Cup yacht race. Coming up, we'll take a look back into the 90s as Brandon Ubell shows us what's trending in social media. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Star City News live at 5. I really wish I had a pet. Looking for a pet? Make the Capital Humane Society your first stop. There are a variety of pets to choose from, such as rabbits, cats, dogs, and much more. Pets from the Capital Humane Society are spayed or neutered, receive treatment for fleas, ticks, or mites, receive needed vaccinations and tests to keep the animals healthy, and are microchipped. It's much cheaper to adopt, so go to the Capital Humane Society to find your next best friend. Welcome back to Star What's City News. Let's go now to Brandon Ubell to find out what's trending in social media. Hello and welcome to What's Trending. I'm your host, Brandon Ubell, right here inside the UNL Union. Let's find out what our top story is. Today, Reading Rainbow is coming back. That's right, people. However, it is unfortunate it's not going to be in its original show format because I'm almost through all of the reruns of my old VHS tapes. This is going to be so good. I love Reading Rainbow. Instead, Reading Rainbow is launching its new iPad app, which creates a virtual library for kids to check out books to read, but also to watch videos all in one place. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading. It's pretty exciting stuff. Now let's move on to the YouTube videos of the day, brought to us by Five Second Films. In the future, we will all listen to music this way. Any way you want. 
this person. Press 5 now. Oh, oh, <laughs> I hope this lasts forever. <laughs> You know, I wish this segment would last forever. Unfortunately, they barely even give me two minutes to do this. So that's all the time that I have. Until next time, I'm Brandon Ubell. You stay trendy, Star City. Thanks for that vital update, Brandon. Elementary school students in Massachusetts got a special treat on Tuesday when their principal dressed up as Lady Gaga. The principal told his students he would do whatever they wanted if they successfully read 10,000 books. The students won the challenge and said he had to impersonate Lady Gaga while milking a cow. Most of the students said they liked the cow part best. How about we make a bet like that, Brandon? You know, I actually wouldn't mind dressing up as Lady Gaga. People might just think I'm in town visiting my cool Nebraska guy. <laughs> I bet he'd like that. Well, thanks for watching Star City News. I'm Nargis Atai. And I'm Brandon Yoakum.